with the discontinuation discontinu of the Xbox backwards compatibility program, have you been given any indication whether this was predominantly for licensing reasons and slash or cost benefit showing it wasn't worth continuing? Or we're or were there some titles that faced technical obstacles? If so, do you believe that dropping Xbox One compatibility and focusing on Series S <laughs> slash X uh, only would open the door to more titles becoming back compat because of the far more powerful CPUs? What do you reckon about this one, John? Um, this is tricky. I, the, I think in the past they've said that they've done as much as they could with regards to the older stuff on 360 and xbox and i think it's less technical and more licensing driven at this point yeah uh and as as they noted here um but i this this is a tricky one i think, I think it is licensing there's, there's, really isn't it I'm... yeah I, but if it were i guess a big enough selling point i'm fairly certain microsoft could overcome those licensing issues you know what i mean i think they have yeah, actually a number of titles yeah i think they have actually where you know, sometimes removed some of the offending licensed material to get yeah, those games that, out there. That, that's something that they can do is actually dig into these games and remove certain files. And I know of games that they've attempted to do this on that didn't work and they were not able to re-release them as well. So that's oh, wow. unfortunately not always feasible. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I really wish they would revisit this because... It's less about 360, I think, is very well covered, but I think the original Xbox is not. There is a ton of Xbox games, and it's an amazing system, by the way. There's a there's a ton of great stuff on the original Xbox that is not covered at all by this program. And I think I I can't believe that they've reached the limits of licensing on original Xbox stuff specifically, given how many other games exist for it. Yeah. Right? It's Especially now so, with Blizzard Activision going down, yeah, you know, like that. There's a lot of Blizzard Activision or Activision titles on Xbox that could definitely make their way over. Um, that would be really nice to see, actually. So I hope. I don't know. It's really hard to say if that'll mean action as soon as that's done. But the evidence on PC that they're at least dipping back into the catalog with these, oh right, half-hearted, uh, you know. Um, Microsoft Store releases uh, or Insider Program releases. Well, maybe they'll do something similar on Xbox. What, whatever happened, Rich, uh, to the resolution boost thing? <laughs> I think we come back to this every so often. We do. But, you know, you and I, we saw Gears of War Ultimate Edition, an Xbox One game that's limited to 1080p, running at native 4K on Series X, right? And it looked very good. Yeah. Uh, and then it just sort of quietly never happened. Yeah, I think. Um they went with a different direction they went with fps boost and which is um, great yeah which but... is great um and i did actually ask them whether you know we've seen this technology working why can't you do both together for an xbox 360 title you should be able to do both together right um enhanced resolution and we have actually seen that well in one they, or two they cases. do that actually already i'd say in one or two cases oh. yeah um but in on on the xbox series side they just decided to go with the resolution boost and they told me that it's very difficult to get the two of them running side by side together but hmm. mm, yeah i think um hmm. well here we go going back to my original visit to microsoft in 2017 to see uh, project scorpio which became xbox one x I did actually speak to Phil um, Spencer about the, uh, the kind of the philosophy behind backwards compatibility. And genuinely, he just believes that your games should be able to move with you from one generation to the next. And I don't think it's going to be, as, uh, as Adam suggests here, uh, a cost benefit calculation. I think it's simply that they're not able to do it for whatever reason um so yeah i i think it's you know hopefully they can improve things there has been sort of you know occasional smatterings of new titles coming out but uh, you know we're kind of reaching the point where i think they've probably exhausted the possibilities there but you know maybe think <laughs> i mean they were talking about licensing agreements on paper in somebody's drawer uh and they oh. you know, they just don't know whether they can actually do it and you know I guess what could happen is that somebody comes out of the, the woodwork demanding rights payments. So it's not as if they can't, you know, it's not as if they can just put the games out there. Maybe the route forward is simply, you know, emulation. You know, in that case, there's not much that can be done about that.